Have you ever felt lost or hopeless? Have you ever wondered if there's a way out of the darkness and into the light? Well, I'm here today to tell you that there is hope. God's hopeful ray can shine through even the darkest of clouds, illuminating a path towards a brighter future. But what exactly is this hopeful ray, and how can we tap into its power? Firstly, let's talk about what hope is. Hope is the belief that things will get better, that our circumstances will improve, and that we have the strength and resilience to overcome any obstacle. It's the fuel that keeps us going when everything seems impossible. And where does this hope come from? It comes from within ourselves, but also from a higher power, God. Now, some of you might be thinking, but what if I don't believe in God? That's okay. The beauty of hope is that it doesn't require religious belief. It's a universal feeling that transcends faiths and cultures. Whether you call it God, the universe, or simply positive energy, the concept remains the same. There's something greater than us that wants us to succeed and be happy. So how do we access this hopeful ray? We must first acknowledge that it exists. Sometimes when we're stuck in our problems, it's hard to see beyond them. But if we take a step back and look around, we'll notice that there are people who have been through worse situations and have come out stronger. There are stories of survival, of triumph over adversity, and of dreams achieved against all odds. These stories remind us that anything is possible and that we too can rise above our challenges. Next, we need to open our hearts and minds to receive God's hopeful ray. This means letting go of negative thoughts and emotions that block us from embracing positivity. When we forgive others and ourselves, when we release anger and bitterness, and when we choose gratitude over complaining, we create space for hope to enter. It's like cleaning a dirty window pane. Once we wipe away the dirt, the sunlight can shine through clearly. Another important aspect of tapping into God's hopeful ray is to trust in His plan. Often we try to control every detail of our lives, fearing that things won't work out unless we do. But the truth is, sometimes the best things in life come from unexpected places. By surrendering our plans to God and having faith in His divine design, we allow Him to guide us towards our highest good. Of course, hope isn't always easy to maintain. Life has its ups and downs, and sometimes those downs can feel like they're never-ending. That's why it's crucial to cultivate habits that nurture hope. One such habit is prayer. Prayer connects us directly to God, allowing us to communicate our deepest desires and fears. It helps us stay focused on the present moment and find peace in knowing that we're not alone. Another habit is self-care. Taking care of our physical, mental, and emotional well-being allows us to approach life with renewed energy and enthusiasm. Exercise, meditation, reading, spending time in nature, these activities recharge our batteries and help us stay connected to our inner selves. They give us the strength to keep moving forward, even when the road ahead looks uncertain. Finally, Surrounding ourselves with positive influences is essential to sustaining hope. When we surround ourselves with supportive friends, family members, or mentors who encourage and uplift us, we gain confidence in our abilities. We begin to see that success and happiness are attainable and that we have the tools within us to achieve them. In conclusion, my dear friends, God's hopeful ray is always available to us, waiting to be seized. It's up to us to open our hearts and minds to receive it fully. Let's remember that hope is not the absence of problems. It's the belief that we can overcome them. May we embrace this hopeful ray with courage, faith, and an open heart, knowing that it will lead us towards a brighter tomorrow. Thank you.